Hey guys, what's up? Pase Bola here. This is the fourth and the last game for today, October 29, 2024, NBA Game Day. A Western Conference matchup between the New Orleans Pelicans and Golden State Warriors. And I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. And by the way, the spread that is given here is minus 3.5, and that's given towards the New Orleans Pelicans. For those interested to avail our uh, premium picks or best picks, you can actually reach us through Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp, or even Messenger account. Just take a look at the descriptions of our videos, and you will see the details right there. Right, so let's talk about this one. Golden State Warriors, they will be enjoying the home court advantage on this. In terms of uh, fatigue, well, both teams are coming off rest, so we can just skip that part. In terms of momentum, both teams are also coming off losses, so let's skip that part. In terms of health, uh, let's go ahead and uh, review the injury list of both teams. Let's start, it, let's start with Golden State Warriors. A couple of players are already confirmed out. Uh, De'Anthony Melton and Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry is already confirmed out for this game. Not only that, uh, we also have Andrew Wiggins listed as questionable for this matchup. So two players already out for uh, from Golden State. Andrew Wiggins listed as questionable. Now for New Orleans Pelicans, I see a couple of players out. Trey Murphy and then John T. Murray, uh, you know, the same players who were out on their last game. I got to say that uh, New Orleans Pelicans, they have the advantage in terms of health. As you can see, just a couple of players out and then Golden State Warriors, they will be missing their best player in Stephen Curry. This was another tricky game, you know, minus 3.5. Normally, it will just be an easy pick for New Orleans Pelicans, you know, especially considering the fact that Golden State Warriors won't have Curry. And there's even this possibility that uh, Andrew Wiggins might not be able to play. Now, I don't know if you guys were able to watch the Warriors this last game. Uh, Stephen Curry was was sat down, and then uh, who's that? Um, uh, Wiggins, Wiggins actually uh, played and he played well. Um, and we saw that they had a chance when that when Wiggins actually played well. And now that we ain't really sure whether Wiggins will will be playing or not, not really so sure. Now for New Orleans Pelicans, yes, they have two wins, but. You know, lots of questions. Lots of questions for this team. You know, they got beat up uh, by Portland Trail Blazers. They almost lost their game against Portland Trail Blazers. They're not having the Junty Murray because of that injury on their first game. So I'm not sure if this team is having some problems or, you know, they're having some adjustments whatsoever. <clears throat> they just don't look the New Orleans Pelicans that I expected, you know, when the game, you know, when this season started. But again, I got a pick. I got a pick on this particular matchup, and I'm going to decide with Nordic Pelicans. Whatever that is, I'm pretty sure that they're professional enough. They are skilled and talented enough to make the necessary adjustments for them to grab another win. Especially going up against Golden State Warriors, who I believe the only you know the only advantage that they have on this particular matchup will be their fans. You know, it's uh, we all know that the, the the Golden State Warriors fans are, are great fans. You know, once they get crazy with whenever. Their three-point shooting is actually clicking. You know, their place is going to be so tough to play on. So, New Orleans Pelicans should need to be uh, careful about the three-point shooting of uh, Golden State Warriors uh, because, again, uh, the crowd is their sixth uh, sixth person. So, my pick on this one would be New Orleans Pelicans. Still, I'm expecting a much much better performance from McCollum and uh, and Zion. They have to step up. They have to show that they are actually the faces of this team. My pick would be New Orleans Pelicans, minus 3.5. Peace out. Pase love. God bless.